Another scenario you may encounter in your lab is the need to generate a new method. If this is the case, the MRM catalog section of ClickWid can facilitate this process. Using the MRM catalog is an excellent way to create tests. By using the MRM catalog, you gain access to hundreds of already tuned compounds, saving you countless hours of method development time in your lab. With these comprehensive compound lists, you can build a new acquisition method in minutes. Let's see how it's done. To start building a new test, we will click Tests under the Manage menu. We will tell the software that we'd like to create a test. Here I will call the test method from MRM Catalog and click Next. We have two options. Specify an existing acquisition and quantitation method or Select compounds from the MRM catalog to automatically generate a method for us. We will use the MRM catalog to generate a new test for us. The first requirement is to select a test to be used as a template. This template is required in order to provide the HPLC gradient information and source conditions for the analysis. The MRM information will be obtained from the catalog. We will use EPA method 536 as our model for the gradient and source information. Our next step is to define our internal standards for the test. We can easily type in the name of our internal standard instead of scrolling through this extensive list. Here I will type in the name of our first internal standard, Atrazine D5. My second internal standard is isoproteron D6. If I start to type in the compound name, the software will automatically suggest analytes that contain the letters I have already typed. My second internal standard is isoproteron D6. If I start to type in the compound name, the software will automatically suggest analytes that contain the letters I have already typed. On the next screen, we will select the analytes we would like to include in our test. I can find isoproteron and associate it with its internal standard. I can also analyze for atrazine, atrazine desethyl, and atrazine 2-hydroxy and link them to their associated internal standards. Next, I will decide how many MRM transitions it should detect for each analyte in the new method. I will select two. Therefore, my analysis of four compounds will contain a total number of eight MRM transitions. Please note, the method will only collect one MRM transition for each internal standard. I can input the column ion source and mobile phase information for the analysis. The software is suggesting the column and mobile phase based on the components used in the template that we used to build this acquisition method. I can change this information or continue to run with these conditions. I can select what report styles to use for the output. You can see I have many options, but I will only choose one or two to be associated with my test. In this case, I will pick the MRM ratio report for the quantitation report. If I had an SOP for this method, I could attach it to my test by clicking the Browse button and locating the SOP on the computer. This would make the protocol available for view to anyone who would like to run this test. Lastly, I can provide a method description for the test. This would be a short description of my choosing to describe the test to a new analyst in my lab. In this instance, I could type in, this method was generated through the MRM catalog. Then I will hit finish. Once I do and go back to the home screen, when I would like to run samples, I would see this newly created test method from MRM catalog is now available for me and I can submit samples. 
I can click the icon molecule to the right of the test name and it will provide me with a method description. Had I attached an SOP, the link to that protocol would also be available.